Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day one of the seven day chakra challenge. Each day for the next seven days, you and I are going to learn a little bit about each chakra and then we're going to do a short, quick yoga practice to help tap in to this energy center of the body. So today is all about the root chakra. This chakra is associated with the element of earth, aka the ground beneath your feet. This chakra is also associated with meeting your basic needs, feeling safe, feeling secure, and overall feeling grounded and connected with your body and the earth beneath you. So today's practice is going to be all about grounding, feeling connected with the earth, and to think about the location of the base of your tailbone as we move along. With that, grab your yoga mat. If you have a blanket nearby, grab that blanket as well. We will be using it later on in practice, but if you just have your mat, that's fine too. Okay, let's get started. So for this practice, I'm gonna actually gonna have you stomp your feet for the beginning of the practice. So I want you to take your feet and just stomp. You can make little stomps, you can make big stomps, you can jump around. I just want you really like pounding your feet into the ground. So we're gonna take about 30 more seconds to stomp our feet. Imagine that you're like that angry toddler in the cereal aisle of the grocery store and you really want Lucky Charms and your mom keeps saying no and it's just not fair. Stomp those feet, stomp, stomp, stomp. What we're doing right now is building charge in the legs. We're charging up our root chakra. Just a few more seconds. All right, now find your feet, spread your toes wide. Let's take some deep breaths. Notice any sensations in the legs. Notice this charge that you've built up in the legs. And now I want you to imagine this energy exchange between your soles of the feet and the earth. So sending energy down by rooting down into the four corners of your feet, you can Im even imagine roots growing out of the bottoms of your feet down into the earth. And then also imagine receiving nourishment and energy up through those roots, like a flower or tree receiving nourishment from the earth. Take a few more moments to just observe, breathe, and visualize this energy exchange. If you're not already there, go ahead and come to the top of your mat, facing the short end, and we're going to move through a basic sun salutation A, but today we're going to do it with a lot of awareness of the tailbone, where the base of the spine is. So feet hips distance apart, inhale, reach the arms up, lengthen through the body as you root down through the heels. And then exhale, long spine, fold forward, lifting the tailbone high to the sky as the top of your head reaches down towards the floor. As you inhale, let's lengthen the spine, come up halfway, hands to shins, and I want you to think about your tailbone lengthening backward in space as the top of your head reaches forward. Bend the knees, exhale, fold the belly over the thighs, and then let's take the hands down to the mat, stepping mindfully back, one foot and then the other to come to plank pose. Shoulders over wrists, and I want you to think about the tailbone yearning backward towards your heels as you press the floor away. Hold this plank for three, two, and one. Let's lower our knees down. Now keeping that tailbone lengthening towards your knees now, bring the hips forward, bend the elbows, slow descent down all the way onto your belly. Now inhale, 
reach the chest forward. Begin to peel the shoulders, chest up off the mat into a baby cobra, still reaching the tailbone backwards towards your heels. And then exhale to slowly come back down. On your inhale, press through your hands to come into tabletop. Tuck your toes under. Reach your tailbone towards your heels, bending the knees deeply. And then lift the hips up and back to come to downward facing dog. Think about lifting the base of that tailbone as if there was a ball of light that you wanted to shine towards the sky where the wall behind you meets the ceiling. And yes, I just asked you to imagine that there's a ball of light shining out of your butt. So let's just acknowledge that that happened and we'll move on. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna slowly bring the knees back down to the ground and we're gonna move through cat-cow, but with the focus on the tailbone. So I want you to think about lifting that tailbone up towards the ceiling as the belly draws down towards the mat, lengthening the space between your pubic bone and that notch between your collar bone, collar bones. And then as you exhale, let's reach the tailbone downwards towards your knees, rounding the spine, pulling the belly button in. Inhale forward tipping the pelvis forward, reaching the tailbone up as the heart space reaches forward through your arms. Exhale, tailbone scoops under. Now shining that light down towards the mat between your knees. And then inhale, cow pose, lifting the sitting bones, lifting the tailbone. And then exhale, press the floor away cat pose. Take one more at your own pace. One more cow, one more cat. Beautiful. Let's come back to neutral. Now I want you to take your knees wide. Your big toes come together to touch. Sit the hips back towards your heels and then bring your forehead down to the mat. If your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you could always place a block or your folded hands or stacked fists beneath your forehead. And in this pose, in child's pose, I just want you to focus on a sense of grounding. So maybe you take a big deep inhale into your torso and then you exhale to sigh it out. <sighs> Let your body just release down into the floor. Allow yourself to be supported and held by the ground beneath you. Imagine a heaviness in your body as if someone had turned up the dial of gravity. So the hips become heavy, the forehead becomes heavy, the shoulders and pelvis become heavy. Everything is heavy as you connect with the ground. On your next inhale, we'll slowly press back up to that neutral tabletop position. Bring the knees back in, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, downward facing dog, making that upside down V shape with your body. Find length in your spine, and then let's walk the feet towards the hands nice and slow, taking a stroll to the top of the mat. And then lifting your tailbone high, we're gonna slowly start to reach the tailbone down to the space between your heels as we begin to roll the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae, to come all the way to stand. Good. So now I want you to face the long end of your mat and step your feet out nice and wide. Your feet should be about as wide as your wrists would be if you drew a line down from your wrists onto the floor. Let's start by turning the right toes out 90 degrees to point towards the short end of the mat. And then we're gonna come into warrior two. So bend this right knee until the right knee is about over your ankle. It can be slightly behind if necessary. 
and we're coming into warrior two. So shoulders over hips, arms reach out away. And then I just want you to play with this front leg a little bit. Play with bending and unbending this right knee. Really rooting down into that front heel. Really press down into that front heel. Feel that sense of ground, that sense of connection through the core of your right leg. Keep working it, making sure you're keeping the knee in line with the second and third toe. Beautiful. And then let's just hold with awareness in the legs. Really root down through the heels, through the four corners of your feet. Holding this warrior two, gazes over your front fingers. And then on your next inhale, let's straighten the front leg. We're gonna turn the toes towards the long end of the mat, but then I want you to take the heels slightly in, coming into a wide second position. And so the toes are turned out 45 degrees, and then we're gonna come down into a goddess squat. You might need to adjust your stance for your body to make sure it feels okay in your hips. I want you to think about lengthening that tailbone down towards the floor as you draw the navel up and in. And then let's bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Take a moment in this goddess pose to really feel into your feet, connect with your ground, maybe imagining that there is a network of roots growing down out of your feet into the floor beneath you. Breathing through it, I know your legs may be talking to you. Just breathe into sensation. And then just like that, it's over. You can straighten the legs. Let's take the feet parallel once more and then turn the left toes out 90 degrees. You can take that right heel slightly back if you like, bending that front knee to stack over or slightly behind the left ankle. Same thing, shoulders over hips, squaring the shoulders with the long end of the mat. And then let's play with that front leg, bending and unbending the knee tracking the kneecap in line with the second and third toe, really feeling into your ground, pressing through that front heel to increase your connection with the floor. Feel the energy building in that front leg. We're creating a charge through the legs, a charge through the feet, which are our foundation. They're what support us all day long so just really feel that charge building in that front leg. And then let's hold here in warrior two for two to three breaths. Gaze over those front fingertips. Noticing that connection, that sense of ground through the legs, standing firm, standing tall in this powerful warrior two. Beautiful. And then let's straighten that front leg turn the toes back to the long end of the mat, and then heel toe the feet together. We've got a few more poses before we finish. Grab that blanket or roll up one end of your mat to make this elevated surface like so. I'm gonna use a mat or a blanket. Take your heels up on the folded mat or on the folded blanket. Take the feet slightly wider than the hips. We're coming into Malasana or Yogi Squat. So bend your knees, start to take your tailbone down towards the floor in between your heels. This blanket or folded mat is meant to elevate the heels so you can get deeper into the squat. Now, if the full squat is not available, that's okay. You can be right here, wherever you are. Maybe you're here. I just want you to think about drawing your tailbone down towards the earth. Maybe you can bring the backs of your thighs onto your calves as long as you have the heels elevated. Just do your best. And let's take a few breaths here in Malasana. Think about getting long through the spine Find length in between the base of your tailbone and the top of your head. Rooting down through your heels. You guys are doing great. Just a few more breaths. And then when you're ready, take the hands down onto the mat and as gracefully as you can, transition onto your seat. And we're gonna come all the way down 
onto your back. So you can move that blanket out of the way for now. Come all the way down with the knees bent, soles of your feet down on the floor. And then let's draw the knees in towards the chest, hugging the knees in, bringing thighs toward belly. Take a few breaths here. Take a few breaths here and then allow your shoulders and hips to get heavy. I want you to imagine for a moment that someone stretched a fitted sheet over your torso and now the corners of that fitted sheet are starting to pull downward toward the floor. Feeling your low back become long and flat down on the ground. Feeling your back body widen and spread onto your mat. Take this moment to give a big old exhale. <sighs> See if you can get a little heavier. Beautiful. And then let's release the legs all the way down, taking the legs long, or if you like, bending the knees and bringing the knees to rest against each other if having the legs all the way flat is uncomfortable. Bring the arms out to your side, palms face up or palms face down, your choice. And just take a moment to allow the body to rest and be supported by the floor. Shoulders heavy, hips heavy, legs heavy. Fully exhale, releasing yourself into the floor, feeling the ground beneath you, rising up to hold you. And then on your next inhale, let's begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Bend the knees one and then the other. Slowly and gently shift the hips over to one side and roll the opposite direction as you begin to press yourself up into a comfortable seated position down on the floor. Thank you so much for practicing today's root chakra flow with me. Sending you so much love, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for the sacral chakra class. Namaste.